Flavius Amdelali. This is my take on the Dillian White versus Otu Wallen fight postponement and all the details that would arise and all the necessary details you as my viewers should know. But before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel, press the like button and also shares so others can enjoy. You can also express your views in the comment section. Thank you. Now, Otu Valen, Otu Valen and Dillian the Body Snatcher White were scheduled to fight on the 30th of October. That fight got postponed because Dillian the Body Snatcher White suffered a shoulder injury. Proud to that, it was supposed to be there. The fight was supposed to be the final eliminator, sort of, for the winner of Deontay the Bronze Wamba Wilder and Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. I think a week or during the week of the fight, the WBC had a meeting and issued a statement that the interim champion after the fight, the person who as the interim WBC world champion would be given a shot at the WBC world champion. The interim champion is often a person who is like a 2 IC to the, to the main champion. So Dalian White has been holding that belt for some time now. There, there are speculations that Dalian White is faking the injury, knowing very well Otu Wallen could be a tricky opponent. Otu Wallen has faced Tyson Fury and has caused Tyson Fury a lot of problems. That, that fight happened or that fight preceded the Wilder versus Fury 2 fight. That was a fight that took place before. So Otu Wallen has proven to be a tricky customer. He also dominated Dominic Brazil recently. So there are speculations that Dillian White is faking the injury because he thinks that if he loses the interim championship, Otu Wallen then gets a chance to fight Tyson Fury, who has become the victor of the Deontay Wilder versus him Tyson Fury three fight. So he is faking the injury. Dimitri Salitas, the promoter of Otu Wallen, has stated that Otu Wallen has not stated that categorically, but he has stated that there should be proof of injury. But unfortunately, I don't know a law in boxing that states that someone should prove his injury, if, uh, especially if it's not a mandatory. If the fight gets cancelled, it gets cancelled. But he is demanding a proof of injury and a postponement of the bout. I think that is fair. That is very fair. But there is no law that, that forces much room and white to do so so that is my take there is no law that forces them to do so but in order for it to be fair because they've both spent money on campaign Dalian white who normally comes in portugal has spent a lot so has otuwale who who originally is from sweden but comes in New York, both have spent money. But I for the postponement, I don't think it would be fair for Dillian White to be to postpone the fight. Let's be real about it. Dillian White has been seeking this opportunity several times. He hasn't gotten it. And now that it is clear, he has a clear path. Unless the WBC come with another trick, which I wouldn't be surprised they do. He has a clear path to his first world title shot. Dillian, Dillian White has never fought for a world title in boxing before. This is going to be his first fight for a world championship in boxing. So it would be very foolish on his path to now because Otuwale is demanding a reschedule of the fight. If because the doctor says Dillian White would be out for six weeks. It would be foolish on his part to reschedule the fight, even knowing how competent or how tricky the fight may be. 
So I think it is just fair enough for the for the fight to be cancelled. And Delia White, we know, has been talking a lot of BS about Otu Wallen and his promoter. I don't think he should also da do that because they are just demanding equity. And he, Delia White, his fight got postponed one week. His first fight got a week postponed with provoking. The second fight got two weeks postponed with provoking. Yes. So he himself has been a victim of these injuries and has made him wasted a lot of money. He says the first fight of the first fight and the second fight with Pervokin cost him over hundred over five hundred thousand pounds. So you could see that he himself has faced a lot, and this is his clear chance to becoming a world champion. And I don't think there is the need to postpone the fight. To be fair, Dalian also deserves a chance. Though Otuwalen also may deserve a chance, I think Dalian has paid a lot of sanctioning fees and deserves chances to a world title. Thank you for watching. This is my take. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to the channel and also share, comment so others can enjoy. Thank you.